Hi and welcome to this video. In this session, I would like to demonstrate our out-of-the-box content management capabilities as well as marketing capabilities. Our out-of-the-box uh, CMS is called Shopping Experiences. Shopping Experiences helps you to easily come up with engaging and emotional content, which can be easily fused with commerce. One remarkable thing about our CMS is that it is actually headless. That means by default, uh, it makes a classical uh, storefront HTML out of the content. But if you're using Alexa or you have a voice commerce integration or even Power Shopper PWA, you can also use this CMS if uh, the respective channels have the skill to read our content or our blogs. But let's have a look in our demo store what you can come up with using our shopping experiences. You see, we're back in our demo store and uh, we can explore a couple of our exemplary content pages which were um, created based on our CMS shopping experiences. So for example, under summer trends, ice cream trends, we can really dive into the world of ice cream, uh, getting some emotional um, content in terms of maybe recipes or great images, which really um, uh, make us want an ice cream right now. There, for example, you find some uh, great product uh, linkages, in this case to an ice cream machine, which is really, really relevant when talking about um, ice cream trends here. You have uh, recipes, so great content which fits in this context, product boxes, and much, much, much more. Also, what is uh, maybe remarkable that uh, forms can be included in uh, those landing pages and also other pages like shop pages, which you can then link in your footer can be um, can be created on the basis of shopping experiences. You might remember this from the video uh, based on how to set up a category. OK, perfect. So let's come up with our own landing page and do some adjustments in the administration. You find the CMS shopping experiences under content, shopping experiences. And here you get a good overview of all of the content, all of the layouts that you have created on the basis of shopping experiences. So shop pages, for example, pages that you can link in the footer, landing pages like the ice cream trends we saw, or also category pages or layouts for categories that I created, for example, in the categories video to individualize a layout for my test category. Let's ha have a look at Heike's landing page here, which I already prepared. This is how a landing page looks like uh, from the administration. As you can see up here, you have different viewports which you can um, go through. So you actually get more or less a one-to-one -one preview of the content that you have created and how it would be displayed for desktop, for mobile devices such as um, mobile um, tablets, and the smallest mobile end devices, like for example, smartphones. And you see everything um, scales or sizes with it nicely. The last icon here, the notepad, is actually more or less for you internal, for your internal processes. This is a good and easy overview of all of the content within this content page so that you can quickly make changes, for example, when uh, translating the content pages. But I would like to stick with a desktop view for now. Okay, um, content pages in general uh, with the shopping experiences are set up uh, by different sections. So here we have the first section and sections then can contain multiple blocks. In this case, this first section called header contains the element uh, header banner and the element or the block header text. And as you can see, each block individually, in addition to the section, can be further configured, for example, in terms of background color or background images. A good overview of all of your um, different sections and the blocks in there can be found clicking here onto the navigator. In my case, you see one, two, three, four, five section, sections, and the first section, the header section, has two elements. What is quite nice of this in this navigator is that you can um, swap around the different blocks. So in this case, you see you get a live preview of how things would look like if I had the header text first. But okay, I like the banner first better. 
What is also quite interesting is that you can, for example, duplicate um, uh, blocks you have in a section. Like for example here, if you want to quickly have the same layout, so to say, but want to switch out the images, you can of course delete them again. And the same holds true for the sections, clicking on the three dots here. So here you can duplicate them. Again, now you have duplicated uh, the section or deleted again. And you can also um, move them around in terms of order. So here in case you want to have the banners uh, moving up, you simply click on move up and you see now they swapped order with the product boxes here. And I want to have it down again. So, so much for the basics and the, set and the setting and the structure of the different uh, sections and blocks here in my uh, landing page. You can always add blocks to a section, either by clicking here onto the blue plus symbol or by clicking onto the plus symbol here in Navigator or in the Navigation section. What blocks do we have available out of the box? There are multiple options. So text is the first one with different text boxes. You have images, you have videos where YouTube and Vimeo videos are supported. You have text and image combinations, also a hero image element where you can place a text on a background image. Commerce uh, elements, like for example, this uh, three column product boxes, which you can see here as well, and a product slider. And sidebars and forms, which you can also use for your category layouts, of course. In my case, what I would like to do is take a little more detailed look at this section here with the product boxes, with the three trigger products. Here in this case, I would like to switch this bikini to our newly created product Fireball. So I simply click on the wheel symbol and here you can simply add the product name and then Shopware searches through the existing products. In my case, Fireball. So let's allocate it and save it. It's as easy as that. And also what's interesting in this section here is that per um, block, you can define the behavior in the block. So in case you have products linked in a block, you can activate a quick view, which actually enables in the front end, the customer to have a light box, which pops up when he or she clicks on the products. And here you find all the relevant information of a product without the customer needing to go to the detail page. So he can already explore everything on the same page or click directly the product to the shopping cart or click out of the light box and just continue to explore content on a specific content page. But I'm happy to show you more detail in the front end. But let's make a little example here. So I thought, why not add another banner here to these two existing banners? So what I'll do is I click on the plus symbol to get to the block um, uh, library here and now choose images. And in my case, I want to use the image full sized and I simply drag it and drop it at the respective space. So you get a little visual feedback here with the blue area in terms of where you can drop things. So I drop it here and I have a little preview. This preview, by the way, is really just a preview image. So you need to allocate your own image before you can save the new element. So I simply click on the wheel symbol and now again, I can browse through uh, updated files, which are in um, uh, upload files from my computer or use existing media, which I have already in the system. In my case, I know there is an category media assay banner. There we go. I pick this one, I add the media and you get a little preview already. Please feel free to play a little around with the different display modes we have available, standard cover and stretch. And here you can also do a bit of um, height indication. So it should be only 340 pixel or maybe even 500 to get a better uh, attention or bigger attention on this banner. 
And here now you can link this, uh, link to this uh, image. It could link to any product or any site, any, any um, page on your website or any external link. When working with external links, of course, you need to enter the whole URL. When working with internal links, for example, product detail pages or category pages, you can simply add um, the last bits of the URL. In my case, as the banner already says, I want to link to the sale category. So I simply enter slash sale as the name of the category and the path is slash sale. And here you can indicate whether the link should be opened in the same tab or open in a new tab. I want to have it opened in uh, in the same tab. Thus, I click save and I save the uh, shopping experience as well. And now you might wonder, okay, so where is this page displayed um, when I have finished the layout? Right now, it is displayed nowhere. Remembering uh, my indications from, from earlier and from the video categories, you need to allocate the layout to a category page to make it visible in the storefront. So let's do that. So I simply navigate back to the categories module and the catalogs categories. And remembering from the category video, I created the test category and below it a subcategory. Obviously this could also be called now um, my landing page for example, or our brand story or whatever suits in your case. I need to activate it. And then down here, I can now assign the layout that we just created. Clicking on assign layout and picking Heike's landing page. I save it. I save the category, which will put the category live. I go back to the storefront, reload it actually. And I can find, sorry, below my category, my landing page. And you see the content that we added with the banner, the text, the preview banners here, our latest products. And remembering what I said from below, uh, from earlier with the quick view, if a customer now clicks on a product, the product is open in this little quick view in this window. And he or she can directly put it in the shopping cart or go to the detail page or simply go out of it and browse and go on browsing through this content page. By the way, by the way, quick view is included in our professional edition and higher editions. And if we continue browsing here, we find our big sale banner, which then should bring me to the sale category. Great. So now you have a bit of an uh, introduction to how the content management solution shopping experiences work uh, out of the box with Shopware. If you like further information, please go to our documentation docs.shopware.com and under Shopware 6 user configuration content shopping experience, you find more information and all of the details in addition to just to what I've just introduced you to. That's how the um, shopping experiences of our out-of-the-box CMS module works. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.